podcast. Good morning, folks. Welcome. Big talk with Bruce Dickey here on Wabash Catch TV. Look who's here. It is my... <laughs> It is my good friend and my brother-in-law, actually, uh, Jason. I'm he, back. He's back. And today, we're not even going to talk about the uh, secret work for the government that, <laughs> that you used to do. I'm a civilian now. You're a civilian? Congratulations. Thank you. You've been a civilian almost three years now. Yeah. Going oh. cooking right along. How about that? Uh, outstanding. He's uh, uh, he, that's And uh, so that's why, he, well, actually, that means you can tell us stuff. No. That can, no. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. When can you start? Uh, when can you start telling us stuff? Uh, the the, um, the fancy stuff. Yeah. Well, about that. About and never. Never. <laughs> <laughs> but we can talk all day about the sports card industry. Okay. Well, that's what we're going to do, actually, ladies and gentlemen. As uh, uh, Jason Edgington here has gotten out of uh, the armed forces, he has entered the collectibles business. Which one is more uh, more uh, uh, cutthroat? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, the government is keeps you pretty, uh, yeah, pretty on yeah, point. I, I suspect. Yeah, I suspect. <laughs> I kind of go and come as I please. The card shows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Kinda... Uh, where do you deal with? Uh, where do you deal with more uh, unsavory characters? <laughs> well, you do know I spent some time in Iraq. I do know that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do know that. Uh, you're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey here on Wabash Catch TV. Jason is going to be here, and uh, we're going to talk. He's got all kinds of fancy stuff here. You can see some of the cards. Uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about how you got into the card show stuff and, uh, and, and all kinds of different things, again, here on Big Talk. Uh, what is going on in your neighborhood and your area today? Well, it is... Is Tuesday, July 27th. A few things uh, going on, folks, uh, around uh, your neighborhood. As a matter of fact, continuing on today, it is the uh, Clay County Fair. Continuing on today. It started last Friday. It, it, it will roll on, I believe, through this Friday. And tonight, as a matter of fact, they have the Junior Miss Clay County pageant, as well as the Queen Pie Auction. And now, uh, you're going to bet whatever or bid whatever you want for the pies that'd be great but uh, to get into the pageant you're going to be looking at five dollars for adults three dollars for kids age two to twelve you get a kid under two i suspect they're going to let them in free there's the schedule uh for the uh, fair lineup i could not get it in a uh, more uh, easily readable format but i'm not uh I can look. I can read that. You see, on Tuesday, July twenty seventh, uh, Jason says Junior Miss Clay County Pageant. I sure do. Yeah, that's uh, that's where I'm getting my information. Little Miss Pageant, by the way, is on Monday night. So uh, if if you uh, if you're watching this in advance of uh, that, by all means, uh, go out to the Little Miss Pageant. And by the way, big quick note: we're going to be showing these on television. We're showing the. How about that, huh? You're fired up about that. Ooh, you're ready to like watch. A good time. You're ready to watch, aren't you? I am. Yeah, there you go. Uh, ready to watch the uh, Little Miss pageant. Going to watch the uh, Junior Miss pageant and the other pageants coming on later this week. We'll I'll uh, give you a uh, I'll give you an update, folks. But it'll be right here on this channel each time. So uh, so if you're watching me now, you're going to be able to watch the pageants later on. How about that? Uh, what else is going on today uh, down in Fairfield at the uh, Fairfield Cumberland to Presbyterian? Church tonight from 5 to 7 o'clock this evening. It'll be a, a registration and evaluation for Upward Soccer. Upward Soccer, uh, that, again, that's going to be at the Cumberland the Presbyterian Church. I think that's the one out by the uh, Walmart, just a little bit past Walmart on the way into town uh, uh, if you're heading in from the west. Uh, again, it's for boys and girls entering pre K through eighth grade so that'll be fun and they uh, will divide everybody up and uh, get some uh, they're going to kick off with practices next week or a few weeks from now but, but uh, they also will we'll take a look at your uh, kids and uh, let them kick around the ball a little bit and see what kind of level they think they need to be in so uh, take a look at that if you're uh, if you got kids wanting to play soccer also story time by the way before i get to story time are soccer cards uh, pretty uh, valuable? Anybody? Very, very valuable. Lucrative. Very lucrative if you know what you're looking at. 
That's kind of the same thing with everything. About <laughs> the same thing for everything. All right. Well, that's cool. The the lucrative soccer card market, <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen. How about that? Also, Young future stars there, though. That's exactly right. So so basically, what you're telling me is you can go there and you're going to start like uh, uh, just you're you're going to start the uh, scouting process. I know seven to eight year olds that you get in quick. <laughs> You know, you invest early. Invest early. And you're yeah. in it for the long haul. It's very important. <laughs> yeah, the, the early investment is very important. Uh, what else going on? Story time at Effingham Public Library today. That'll be actually right after this show. So if you're if you're halfway there, you might want to hurry up. Uh, and that'll be at 10 o'clock. Live and in person stories, uh, songs, lots of fun. Uh, crafts will be prepackaged to uh, take home and you'll have a ball. This is for kids ages zero zero to five it'll be in the workman room you need to give them a contact give them a call and uh they will uh, they'll make sure you are set up uh, well for that okay so uh, again that is uh, the story time at the effingham public library what else here on uh, july 27th ladies and gentlemen Enjoy National Creme Brulee Day. National oh. Creme Brulee. Yeah, oh, I what love, else? yeah. Uh, this uh, presents you folks an opportunity to enjoy a mouth-watering custard for dessert. Several different flavor opportunities. Creme Brulee, also known as Burnt Cream, Crema Catalana, and Trinity Cream. The dessert consists of a rich custard base. Custard is then topped with a contrasting layer of caramelized sugar. Chefs achieve the final layer by using a small propane torch. <laughs> There's a bunch of different uh, creme brulees. That uh, one up there on top, I bet you that would fill you up. While vanilla is the most common custard base for creme brulee, the dessert can come in a range of other, co- other flavors. Coffee, citrus, nut, chocolate, other fruits, all kinds of uh, different ways to enjoy Creme brulee. I, 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 what is your favorite what creme a brulee? Do you day. Uh, do you have a, a favorite uh, creme brulee? The free kind. <laughs> <laughs> free. Yeah, there you go. Free and warm. Free yeah, and I, warm. I, I like that. I like that. Uh, what else, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, going on today? This is this one might, maybe a little bit more adult than uh, story time or oh. creme brulee day. This is National Scotch Day. On June 27th, folks recognize an aged whiskey distilled from malted barley. Make a toast on National Scotch Day and share a drink with a friend. Since scotch is protected by law, specific guidelines must be followed when making it to label it as scotch. Otherwise, it's just whiskey if it, if you don't use this. Uh, uh, scotch must also be aged in oak barrels. Only malted barley may be used. It has to be aged for at least three years and have a, 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 a alcohol by volume of less than ninety four point eight percent. There, are several different. Uh, which is would now I asked you what your favorite creme brulee is? Which of those would be your favorite scotch? Or actually, you're probably favorite isn't up there. I bet. I don't see the old Cuddy Sark. I don't see the Cuddy. I, <laughs> I I, I'm, I'm astonished. The astonished. ship has sailed. Yeah, the, the ship has <laughs> sailed. Uh, I, I would have. Uh, I would have thought the Cuddy was up there, but yeah, you got Johnny Walker Red, uh, Blue. Well, no, don't we Johnny Walker Red and Black, J and B, of course, uh, all kinds. Uh, the one on the end there, you can't get it anymore. You see that? That's Cardu, and uh, I have uh, some uh, friends who uh, think of Cardu as basically the best drink in the world they think is really the, yeah they, they think that that is the bees knees that is great info to get out there Carter. because you got a car pay dm the day it's there you up. go there you go absolutely remember always do drink responsibly and never drink and drive of course so uh, there you go what else is going on this week well this is national moth week the last week of july recognizes the insect order lepidoptera when moths uh, uh, share lepidoptera with butterflies, there are nine times more species of moths than butterflies in the world. Are you okay? You go I'm little? fine. Oh, okay, just yeah. I, I didn't know if there was something you could uh, mention there or not. One of the world's yeah. large is the Hercules moth. I don't have a picture of it. A wingspan of all right. Now give me a. What do you think the world's largest? You've traveled all over. I the have world. been all over. Um, the how long that wingspan or how big the wingspan? I'm asking you to make a guess. I would say maybe two feet. 
Oh, now that'd be a big moth. <laughs> we might already know about this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's not that. Yeah, it's not that big. How about twenty-seven centimeters? Oh, that's what I was thinking. Not yeah. feet, yeah. centimeters. Yeah, I'm no, not very good at the increments. Ten and a half inches long. Um, wow, that's a big moth. Length of a football. Yeah, I wouldn't be messing with yeah, that. That's uh, one you don't. That's want. like if that turkey started coming back to life right now, <laughs> <and> flew away. <laughs> I don't want that turkey. I don't. Yeah, I don't want that turkey to come back. And, uh, yeah, that, yeah, that would be. That'd be the. That'd be the flying pelt. That yeah, almost there, as yeah, big there as you that go. Thing. That's exactly right. <laughs> so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It's a uh, moth week. Enjoy uh, moths this week. What else going on? What's on TV? What do you want to see tonight? Uh, Major League Baseball going on. Uh, the uh, Cardinals. Pardon me. The Reds are playing the Cubs. That's at seven oh five tonight. Vladimir Gutierrez versus Adbert Alzale. At 6:10, it's the Blue Jays at the Red. By the way, the Cubs are on Marquee Channel 597. Red Sox host the Blue Jays. That's on MLB Channel 599. Robbie Ray versus Gary Richards. By the way, stop me if I mention somebody that you have their card or or you have several of their cards. I got some retired guys. You going to mention the Angels? I've got a uh, well. I'll be mentioning him to uh, Chicago White Sox at Kansas City. That's Dylan Cease versus Brad Keller on uh, Channel 643. Also. At 6.10 tonight, the Cardinals are in Cleveland. Do you have any Adam Wainwright? Not on me here with the show. Have I have an ex-Cardinal right here. Well, we'll uh, get to One that eventually. Uh, Adam Wainwright versus Cal Quantrill. As the Cardinals a good two-game series up there in Cleveland. That's on Bally Sports Midwest Channel 630. You looking for the Olympics tonight? All kinds of stuff going on. Uh, on uh, Tuesday night, you have the women's final in slalom canoeing. Well, it starts at 11 o'clock in the morning. It's going to go all night long, ladies and gentlemen. All afternoon, all night long. The uh, gymnastics team final will be uh, on television tonight, as well as uh, uh, five different swimming finals. And uh, a, a water polo game. A ladies water polo game. Big respect to those ladies. That's oh, a tough sport. That is a tough, tough sport. <laughs> I would drown quickly. Yeah. You're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey here on Wabash Catch TV. That is Jason Edgington. I'm Bruce. We'll be back right after this. Do stick around. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LamontsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Briscoe Surplus Sales on the northeast edge of Flora is your one-stop do-it-all shop. Looking for rugged boots and footwear from great brands like LaCrosse, Rocky, and Carolina? They're there. How about top-notch small engine parts and service? Briscoe Surplus Sales has it. Whether you're wiring your switches or switching your wiring, Briscoe Surplus Sales has the solution and the know-how to help you get the job done right the first time. Briscoe Surplus Sales, your one-stop do-it-all shop. At Clay City Banking Company, we're all on the same team, regardless of zip code. At home, work, school, or across the country, you can be part of our team with our cutting-edge mobile banking products. From your hand, you can check balances, transfer money, make deposits, and pay bills. Looking for a loan? We've got you covered with our mortgage, agriculture, commercial, and consumer loans. Join our team today. Clay City, Floor, Louisville, and Fairfield Banking Companies. We're the hometown banks, member FDIC, and equal housing lender. Does your home show signs of foundation problems? Call the experts at Woods Basement Systems. Our Power Brace system can fix the problem permanently and help protect the value of your home. Call Woods Basement Systems today. Woods, the all things basementy experts. Mold, rank air, pests, all getting closer to inside your home. With a dirt crawl space, there's no telling what's below you. A sealed crawl space locks the nasty stuff out, plus can lower your utility bills. Woods, the all things basementy experts. 
It is all things new at Zimdar's Heating, Air Conditioning, and Appliance Repair. We have a new line of heating and cooling equipment and new technicians. Our new equipment line offers 24 months free financing and excellent warranty coverage. Our experienced service technicians can provide you with quality service and repairs on all brands of HVAC equipment. Zimdar's has been serving Clay County and the surrounding areas for over 23 years. The employees of Zimdar's are here to help, so call local and call Zimdar's. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Big Talk with Bruce Dickey here on Wabash Catch TV. We do appreciate you tuning in. And uh, today we're, uh, we are blessed to have uh, Jason Edgington here. Great to be back. Uh, Pond Creek Collectibles, is that what it's called? That is what I do. Where do we find Pond Creek Collectible, Collectibles? If, I am, if I'm looking online and I, want to, uh, and, and I want to get into this and contact you. So it would be Pond underscore Creek underscore underscore collectibles on instagram on instagram mm -hmm. uh why what made you choose instagram because you That's just what got all the started new kids are doing <laughs> i don't <laughs> pretty much dinah has to manage that account you got, you got started as a business in this not too long ago not i'm fresh into it like just just jumped off the cliff from into the business it. side yeah of it. However, you have been a collector for oh my whole life. When did you start collecting? Uh, uh, and what did you start collecting? Tops baseball cards. Tops of course. baseball cards. So how we, old were you? Oh, probably five, six years old. Like yeah. any, you know. So my mom was a worked as a dental technician. Okay. So you know she did, she was anti cavities. So I was the kid growing up. That you could not get sugary candy, Bruce. The and you darn sure didn't want Barb Etheridge to brush your teeth. No. So So the only way you could get sugar was to buy baseball cards? Now, remember back in those days. <laughs> now, this would be 80, 81. Yeah. So back in those days, they had the sugary piece of bubble gum in the pack. Well, I got to get the cards and throw away the bubble gum. So we'd stop at food park. Wait a minute, you, you, she would let you buy cards, but she would not let you chew the gum? It, it has sugar in it, Bruce. That'll rot your teeth out. Well, it will. <laughs> it will. Okay, so uh, so how many cavities did I got to know? I still don't have any. So, Ladies and gentlemen. Hey, mom is always mom right. Rich. You know, so, you know, that's how I got into it. Just you like any kid back in then, them days. So, you know, Bruce, growing up, you know, most kids, we play Little League. And yeah, we're like, the on, dream, uh, yeah, the okay. dream is to make it to the Major League. Yeah, absolutely. Scoot over this way. I knew. Keep scooting away. I knew my destiny. I was a fat, little <laughs> white kid that, hey, I mean, I can play a little ball, but there's no way I was an athlete in any means. Okay. So, but what I did love was the sport. Sure. But I knew. Did you actually play it for a few years? How, how many years did you play? I baseball? played. I played till my sophomore year of high school. Oh, okay. I, but I played little league and played all that league. all the way through. You played eight years. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, I knew the writing on the wall, Bruce. I wasn't going to make it the major leagues, but I could collect them all sure. and enjoy them. And maybe on, later on, my dream was always like, I'm not going to be able to play the sport I love, but maybe someday I could make it. In the card business. Did oh no, hold on a second. Oh, hold on a second. When did you start thinking about the card as a business as opposed to cards as just collecting and having fun? Oh, I'd say about seven. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, what happened? Did you did, did you did you realize that one card was worth? Well, Bruce, back so I grew up through the junk era per se of the card industry. Okay, what's that mean? So that would be the eighty. It started about eight mid eighties when all the cup tops realized, oh my god, everybody wants baseball cards. We're going to print more. 
Yeah. So about after 1985, I'd say, they mass produced oh, okay. cards. So cards from like 85 till 90 or in the 90s are, are, and, and then it got are less are less lucrative there's because there's a they're window more. there called the junk wax era. The Which, junk like, wax. And unfortunately, era. King Griffey Jr., one of the greatest ever, is unfortunately he's a rookie in that and his rookie cards were mass produced. Now we'll get into that later about grading and okay. how they progress yeah. in yeah. value, yeah. but yeah. but yeah, I mean it was a labor of love for. Do you ever. remember? Do you remember some of the first deals you as a seven-year-old? Okay, so my first card show. Now, now there's a few still in Fairfield that would remember this. We used to have a baseball card collecting club. Oh, in, really? In Fairfield. I did not know that. And it used to meet in the basement of the Fairfield National Bank for a while. Okay. And that was like what eighty mid eighties. Well, my first card show was at the Contiki when we were like thirteen, fourteen years old, and that would have been like eighty seven, maybe eighty eight. I don't know who ran the card show. The, the card, I forget who promoted that. Who ran the that. card? Uh, the card club. I think Rick Odie for a while. Doug yeah. Strange maybe. I yeah. don't, I I just remember those guys back then. But you know, it, it's been a thing. From the get go, but as a biz, like I set up at shows selling Michael Jordan rookie cards. How old cards. were you for the first show? Fourteen. I was four, 13, 14. Late eighties. Late eighties. We were selling Michael Jordan rookies at ten bucks a piece. Nobody wanted basketball back then, and you know it was just something fun. You trade the one you sell or trade the ones. You show don't me your want. Michael Jordan rookie here. Okay, so uh, uh, we have here the uh, uh, the. Presumably, relatively valuable uh, Michael Jordan rookie card, and and you and you can explain to me what all this uh, numbers now, on top mean. Now it goes kind of in the story. So we're at the show back then, packs of that stuff that his rookie was in it was only thirty three cents, you know, for at hooks, hooks, yeah. at hooks or whatever, yeah. you know, Ben yeah. Franklin, yeah, Hills, Hills, Hills Sporting Goods, Hills really Sporting Goods yeah, was okay. still there. You know, so we, you know, and nobody collected bas basketball back then, but us as kids, Jordan was our, I like the guy. Yeah. You know, and, you know, being from Illinois, everybody's watching the Bulls, and he becomes popular. And here's his autograph, Bruce. This is a commemorative card when he was uh, uh, made the game winner for the championship. And it has. That's his autograph, and it's numbered out of 23. And it really? has a piece of his game worn jersey and a game piece of the floor that he did it on. And that was out of a pack that I got. You pulled this out of a pack back yeah, in the like 1980s. It, other way. There Sorry. you go. So there's his autograph. So, you know, these, the rookie cards, we were getting, that was one of the last ones that I had left. So I got it graded, and it came back at eight, which makes a big deal because this is one of the most counterfeited cards on the planet. I was going to say, we're going to talk about grades in, in, yeah. in here in a little bit. So that's an actual certified Jordan rookie. Is this that's a certified Jordan? That autograph. is certified, but it doesn't have by the. Little, the doesn't have it's a not graded. Oh. Now, see, it's certified by the company. The packs they paid Jordan X amount of dollars to come in and do a signing, and they made the card upper deck company. Yeah. So these card companies pay the athlete. So it's certified, but but you know that's what got you going. You set up the con tiki and you start doing it and you just fall in love with it all right i'll tell you what let's do let's take a quick break we're going to talk about uh, the collecting hobby itself and how then, it's evolved yeah how yeah. it's changed over the last well since you started I, oh yeah it's changed. i hate to say 30 Ooh. to 40 to 70 years since 70 you started years. <laughs> <laughs> the background after this on big talk stick around <laughs> Does your home show signs of foundation problems? Call the experts at Woods Basement Systems. Our Power Brace system can fix the problem permanently and help protect the value of your home. Call Woods Basement Systems today. Woods, the all things basement -y experts. Mold, rank air, pests, all getting closer to inside your home. With a dirt crawl space, there's no telling what's below you. A sealed crawl space locks the nasty stuff out, plus can lower your utility bills. Woods, the all things basement -y experts. 
Shy Diesel Service Company is your anything diesel full service center and fuel injection shop. Shy Diesel offers the quickest turnaround times to get you back on the road. Shy Diesel can service any diesel engine from agricultural, construction, heavy duty truck, and automotive. Let Shy rebuild your pump, injectors, or turbos. Need custom fuel lines? Shy has you covered. With a drive in service, they offer a variety of services, including oil changes, engine rebuilds, DOT inspections, and DPF cleanings. For unmatched quality, think Shy Diesel Service Company. Anything diesel. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at BruceD at Wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. When you want an honest deal in hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state of the art tire and alignment technology. Le Mans always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24 7 at LeMansOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Get ahead of the game at Carter Athletic Academy, where the goal is to transform you into the best young athlete you can be. Train for top performance in football, volleyball, soccer, baseball, and softball. Professional private lessons and clinics are always available with Carter Athletic Academy's expert training staff. Carter's exclusive hit track system brings skill development as well as exciting gameplay to batting cages. Plus, the academy is the perfect spot for your special event or celebration. The Carter Athletic Academy in Fairfield. Hey folks, welcome back. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey here on Wabash Catch TV. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, joined today by uh, Jason Edgington and uh, we are talking about uh, we're talking about collectibles, mainly baseball cards. Um, Got wrestling cards. Do you have wrestling cards? Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> You got Randy Macho Man Savage. I sure do, Bruce. Uh, look, ladies and gentlemen, look at look at the Macho Man. You know that's the thing; they aren't making any more Macho Mans with a, with oh, a signature like and that. And that's one of his only certified ones. There's only six of those graded in that condition. Yeah. That's when. The, that's why. Now wait a minute. Tell me this again. I, I, I guess. Uh, oh my heavens! This is a uh, mint nine yes, level sir. nine. There is no tens. There are there no, are no Jim Mint tens, as uh, last I checked. Okay, now what makes this a nine as opposed to maybe a six or something like that? Well, there's no is... the condition. There's no creases. There's no dings on the corners. You the, know, it's the a, corners look great. Yeah, I mean it's very close to a ten. Hence the nine. I mean it was probably some surface imperfection. They bumped it down a little. Have bit. you? Um, have you? Uh, is this one that you collected as a oh, youth? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I uh, so with the PSA grading comes the PSA set registry, another way of another form of collecting cards. Get your cards graded, and they, you can collect a graded set. So you would be ranked among the world in the set. So Randy Macho Man has a wrestling card set on there. So I, at one time, I started selling mine off now, but at one time I had the number two Randy Macho Man set on the registry set. Wow. Now. now hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll get to that. So speaking of registry sets, I have the number three registry set of that man. Well, I want to make that, that, so make that one's not. This leads us into grading. You know. Well, hold on a second. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hold on a second. He he was he's he's showing off here a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. Before. Oh, now this is this is my baby right here. This is one of my. You just saw my favorite card. I have the, the Randy. The Randy. Now this is the next one. That is Albert Pujols' Bowman Chrome rookie autograph card from 01. Okay. 
So, and it sh shows that it is an eight. Uh, yeah, for the condition. Now, condition. see the centering, how it's off. That kind of knocks it down a little bit. When you're holding it in your hand, you can see it like that. Okay. You see how it's a little off center, left yeah. to right. So yeah. that brings it down a grade. Usually. Yeah, you can see. Actually, you know, yeah. that's the interesting thing. When if you if you really are looking at it, take a look down there at the bottom. It, there's a of the black part of the card. You see mm -hmm. more black on yeah, one side see, that's than on the it. other. Yep. So that goes into the grading aspect. It it's all about the condition of the card nowadays. I, I mean. Everybody and their dog has something in their closet, you know, or in their basement. But it's all about keeping them in the best condition possible. Well, That's now, okay. what people how has, want. How has collecting for you changed since you started collecting to now? Grading. That was the huge change. I remember in the 90s sitting with Tyler, my best buddy Tyler, back then we, we collected together. And he's, we still do. Uh-huh. Uh, but we remember reading back in the back of a Beckett magazine, the price guide, you know. Yeah. And they were first starting this company. PSA was first starting in like the early 90s, late 80s. And we'd see these ads, grade your cards. And we were like, we don't get it. You know, we just don't get it. We, we can look at it and tell you ourselves. Yeah, what the card's going right. to be. Just look at I the mean, we just, but that's what we do. We are so used to dealing with cards, playing with cards. Well, it became a thing because <laughs> I've been a member of PSA for over 13 years now. Oh, really? Oh, platinum member. I, I got addicted to like it got. Well, it was collecting. Like I wanted the set registries. Like and now, like I have a bunch of vintage Hall of Famers, like Babe Ruth rookie. I just sold a Satchel Page rookie, but I would collect Hall of Famers, and then because of vintage, they try to counterfeit things like that Jordan. Yeah. Never, I can tell all your listeners or watchers, never buy an ungraded Jordan nowadays, and right. make sure it's from a reputable grading company because, because it's been counterfeited so over and over. Really? Yes. And now, Bruce, now it's such a big deal. They're counterfeiting. The PSA, the, the the grading company stuff. So see this little barcode? Yeah. You can, There's an app now on PSA. You can scan it if it's a PSA card. You scan it, and it shows up on the registry. Now you know it's legit. So when you sent this in, or when you would have sent this mm -hmm. in, or if, if you were sending one in now, uh, or last year, because now it's kind of... Now you can't. Their PSA is closed down for now. They got overwhelmed during COVID. They're trying to catch and up. And they're trying to catch up. But if you did send it, would they send it back to you like this uh, with the sticker? Or did yes. you have to build it? No, no, they, it comes like that. The only thing I put on this was the pl check the plastic. plastic. Yeah. Yeah. Not the outer edge, but the... Okay, so so back in 1990, you guys were not grading at all. When did... No. You so when I first started grading, I, you know, it was... I was stationed in, uh, I think I was in Germany. Well, 13 years ago, it was 07 or 08. That's about when I started, so Germany, yeah. 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 So at that, by then, I had, like, overseas, it, my collection really blossomed because I played golf and I collected cards as my hobbies yeah. and worked my butt off in the military yeah. you know, and yeah. gone all the time. Yeah. So I didn't have a whole lot of time for a whole lot of things except work and you know collecting and and that was my release the collecting and just hang you know that kind of stuff well it's grown so much i had so much stuff i was like i what i got in the psa registry and started grading stuff. at what point did you realize hey i might have some uh, a, a little level of uh, uh, a little level of value in my little uh, my little 30, 20 year old collection well when <laughs> COVID, like, I want to let your viewers know also, COVID made, this is like a stock market now, and COVID made yeah. everything explode to un unbelievable heights. Is it going to come back down? It already has. It's already leveled back out where it should be. I've been in it so long, everybody's, like, worried about the market. I was like, collecting's always been there. It, yeah. and, but, but so many people now are looking at it as investments. Yeah. Like, what really changed the game on this whole collecting industry was about four, three years ago now, four years ago, Merrill Lynch and all these investment brokers has, like, you know, art you can put in your portfolio. Yeah. Yeah. Had, yeah. Now they consider cards and sports collectibles art. Like, they consider it the same thing. I sold a card to an investment banker from Chicago during COVID. That's, that's when I realized that the, the, it's evolving. There's a lot so. more people getting into this. And everybody thinks, well, they see these prices on eBay and that's what and that's not the whole truth. You it's not necessarily 
there's a lot of criminals involved when money's involved. So, yeah. so when you see these astronomical prices of cards selling on eBay, that doesn't mean money exchange. A lot of times, like I've read articles, and I've been in dove in this industry deep. Like I want to know. I only deal with people I trust and yeah. know. It's a sh- there can be shady folks. Like it is in anywhere. Bobby doggone. I. Uh, I want to delve into that a little bit more when we come back. You're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey here on Wabash Catch TV. Uh, Here with uh, Jason Edgington. Back in a sec. Stick around. Having car trouble, need a tow, or just some routine maintenance? Butcher Automotive in Louisville has you covered. Locally owned and operated, Butcher Automotive offers complete vehicle repair services along with tire sales and wheel alignment. They're your local hand-cooked tire and interstate battery dealer. Butcher Automotive offers free local pickup and delivery so your car can be repaired while you're at work or at home. Butcher strives to treat everyone's vehicle as their own. At Butcher Automotive, they don't want you to give them your business. They want to earn it. Does your home show signs of foundation problems? Call the experts at Woods Basement Systems. Our power brace system can fix the problem permanently and help protect the value of your home. Call Woods Basement Systems today. Woods, the all things basementy experts. Mold, rank air, pests, all getting closer to inside your home. With a dirt crawl space, there's no telling what's below you. A sealed crawl space locks the nasty stuff out, plus can lower your utility bills. Woods, the all things basementy experts. Residents of the Clay County and surrounding area have relied on Clay County State Bank for sound professional service for over 100 years. With convenient lobby and drive-up hours, we are ready to serve you Monday through Saturday. We appreciate all who bank with us and we look forward to the opportunity of working with anyone who is looking for a community bank to help with their financial needs. Give us a call at 665-3314, visit us online, or stop by and see us on the square in Louisville to experience our friendly personal service. When you want an honest deal in hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. I thought I'd lost my business in that fire, but my agent was there before the flames were out. He said, together, we're going to rebuild. Our employees depended on it. My independent agent and auto owners made sure we didn't skip a beat. I mean, we didn't miss a single payroll. For whatever lies ahead, we're always there. Auto Owners Insurance. North Wayne Insurance Agency in Flora is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. Hello folks, welcome back. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey here on Wabash Catch TV. My guest today is Jason Edgerton. You can find him. Yeah, make sure... Yeah, make sure that looks good. Uh, you can find him at Pond. I guess I didn't put the slash underneath there. Sorry you got to do the underscore. Pond underscore Creek underscore Collectibles on Instagram is the easiest place to find yeah. you. Okay. Yep. You say the kids are using Instagram more than oh, those Those kids, they're smart. <laughs> they're smart, Bruce. I Aren't can't keep smart? up with them. But, yeah, I think in the YouTube generation, I mean, I really love it. But I can't. That's not me. Yeah. yeah. You know. Uh, Jason, let's uh, talk a little bit about we mentioned before we took off. Uh, you do. There are. You got to make sure you're dealing with people that are on the up so and up. So back to the. How, how did you find? How did you, how did you find out some folks were shady? <laughs> well, you live and you learn. You get taken once. Fool yeah. me once, you know. What happened? Well, you know, vintage cards is a prime example. They they've counterfeited those for years and years and years yeah. ever since. So yeah. you know, the Mickey Mantle rookie cards probably one of the most counterfeited after the Jordan. Yeah. But they counterfeit all the Hall of Fame rookies like Clemente's rookie, Aaron's rookie. So you know, I was at a flea market one day, and you know, you can just they they're just selling cards and. The big red flag is when somebody's selling like say a Hank Aaron rookie card for five dollars. No, the red the, flag goes up, you know. That, but that's what I'm saying. I get this. Somebody who's otherwise knowledgeable. <laughs> yes. 
Now this has happened when I was a kid. We didn't know any better. And this is why I try to I preach from the pulpit on this. It's card shows trying to educate the youth of this stuff because yeah. nowadays they're talking it's so much more money involved. It costs so much more money. I mean, back when I was a kid, you could buy a pack of cards, what what I say, 33 cents for right. those packs now. Well, 86 Fleer packs, if you can find them, those are like 10 grand a pack now. Yeah. But who would have known? But today, if you get a current new release product from these companies, you're at least in it for 100 bucks or more for oh, just a, a 10, box or 10,000 pack? Oh, the for the old stuff. Yeah, like yeah the, they're rare. Like a Jordan pack. Yeah. Wow. It's, I mean, it's insane. But you don't know if Jordan's in it. No, pack. you don't. That's it's just the chance. It's called gambling, Bruce. Oh I think my you heavens. might have a show. Oh, yeah, but I mean that. And there, well, there's gambling, and then, and there's, then there's gambling. Then there's gambling, and it's a whole different ball game in the sports world. I uh, and people, Bruce, they make hundred thousand dollar boxes of cards. It's ridiculous. That's insane. I mean, but people buy it. All right, now, so, all right, now, so the, is, you've, you, 13 years ago, you say you're a member of PSA. What's mm -hmm. that mean? So they offer member. They used to offer memberships. Now you can't because now they they're trying to catch up. They're behind. How many of, of your boom. cards do you think you have graded? Oh boy, <laughs> I got a lot of graded. It's kind of it's kind of. I've been doing that. It's a requirement in your business. It, it, it it's not a requirement, but you do better. It's easier to know the, like the conditions right there in front of you. There's yeah. no bartering on condition. There's the barter of where are you at yeah. and where am I at and where can we meet if I feel good about selling, trading, or giving you this. But no, right. you can't have Randy. <laughs> but, but you know, that's the thing. You do the dance. That's what I tell people. You do the dance. Um, Just because the internet says it's worth something doesn't mean it's true. It's only worth it's like, like it's, any only worth it's only worth what, somebody what it is you. at that time, or what somebody will give you exactly in that moment in time. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, what is going on this week and why are you in town? So why I'm rolling through is we're on the way to Chicago, right? So I I, I live in Virginia Beach and I go up and down the East Coast doing shows lately. Yeah, I do DC Raleigh and a few others a local show okay. it's really booming card shows if you can get out to a card show i highly suggest that's what you do it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun you can meet an athlete and you know you can probably get better deals on cards if you're a collector right. honestly dealers because dealers are there and they're they're re ready to deal and ready to deal speaking and, of you yes cash is king yes so I'm on my way to Chicago to the National Sports Card Convention. It happens once every every year for the past. This is be the 41st or second. Okay. And uh, you know, COVID kind of sprung a leak in it last year. They canceled it. Yeah. So people haven't had a national for two years now. There's people that this is the one show they only do. This is the only show they'll go to. And I mean, Bruce, you can walk into this thing now. Granted, I have not been to one since the 90s when it was in St. Louis once. And we went over there, but I met Mickey Mantle before he, really? before he passed. I sure did. Wow. So there's people like that. Well, there. I, I, I mean, didn't figure you met him after he passed. Now there's historic. No, we're right. <laughs> so, but it was around the time frame when he was getting sick. <laughs> I see. Uh, but, hey, historic moment's going to happen in Chicago. Spencer Rattler is signing autographs publicly if you don't know who spencer rattler is you're not a collector spencer rattler is a, a quarterback for oklahoma he's going to be the uh he will he'll be a first round quarterback i don't oh, know easily yeah. may end up being the number one pick this is and he's and now with the name image and likeness he can sell his autograph he sure can so the national he, sports card show hired him to come on up and what's the, what's the cost for a spencer rattler oh i wish i would have looked but i think it's only like 40 Forty-five dollars, maybe. I don't quote me on when that. you go to these things. I've seen the you know, list. Hulk Hogan's gonna be there, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go stand in line Rick, for Hulk Hogan. Ric Flair, woo! It's gonna be a good one, Bruce. It's gonna be crazy. Do you get it now? You you do you get to meet these folks at all? Whenever well, I mean. They might be in my hotel. I don't know. Oh, I We're, all the dealers usually stay right there yeah. beside the f convention center. It's well, that's attached. how you met people as a kid. I mean, that's how I met people. Right, uh, right. Uh, whenever we would go to the football game, we'd yeah. stay at the team hotel. And, yeah, and, well, and, prime example, my last show was in D.C., the Holiday Inn I was at, which is right across from the venue. 
uh, Drew Pearson the, of Cowboys yeah. lore, you know, yeah, the Cowboys, Hall of Famer. Yeah, Hall of Fame 70s. He was right there. Did you have a card? I, yeah, I have a few Drew Pearsons, but, you know, I don't like to bother athletes when they're out yeah. on their – like he was getting ready to have dinner. I just said hi and walked on, you know, hey, Drew, yeah. you know. It's cool. They're really – like when you get them in that setting, they're really cool. Like they, they, they're, you know, they're just a human being. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a- Adrian Peterson walked by my booth at that show, and he just had an entourage. I gotta ask. I gotta <laughs> ask. I, I'm. I, I've been around some uh, professional football players, but it's been a while since I was around any professional. They're mammoth men, Bruce. I'm, I'm, that's what I was asking about Adrian Peterson. It's just he weird. He must be a giant. It's and it's so weird. It just make you know. <laughs> They're big humans. They're, yeah. they're just big humans, and he's he's still. I think isn't he still going to play oh, yeah, this year? Yeah, yeah, he's in he's in football shape. It's crazy. How many? People, and he's what thirty something years old. How many people are, are going to be there this week? Uh, oh, they're talking. How many record. signers? They have well signers. Oh, they probably have over a hundred. Just the VIP tickets alone, I gave uh, Will and Will and Clark. There's fifteen to twenty free autographs that come with that ticket, and those are guys like Jack Clark, Cecil Fielder, Wally Joyner. So I'm talking. There's also guys well, there, well, Hall of if Famers. If like, you have a VIP ticket and you get into the at uh, if you okay, say you have a VIP ticket. Yes, they're sold out. By the way, well, I figured they are. <laughs> but do you then go try to find their card so you bring a card for them to sign? You can do. A lot of people signing? do. A lot of people do. I don't mess with the autograph stuff. I don't really do a whole lot of. Let's I say would think autographs would be too easy. A, to as in the fake. memorabilia stuff, like getting a jersey autographed and and yeah. dealing that. I don't do that. Like I do the certified autographs from packs. Yeah. And stuff like that, but I don't. But it's a it, they, people do it and, it, and it does well because people collect it. So you're right on track. Like that's a good idea. Like what they like to do is get their rookie card, get them to autograph it, and then they send it to PSA, certified it. But that costs a little bit of money to that's do. Costs that costs a little I mean, bit of money nowadays because these athletes aren't cheap, Bruce. Well, uh, it's going to cost you to get the autograph, and it's going to cost you to get the certification. Yes, now, you're double whammy. Uh, that's Jason. I'm Bruce. We're going to talk a little bit more about that. We're going to wrap things up. We're going to see some. Uh, we might see the most expensive card that you have ever seen in your lives. Possibly. 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 Uh, that is Jason. I'm Bruce, and we might even talk. Get those Pokemon cards out. Did you say gaming? Gaming. I said gaming. I'm in. Let's play. <laughs> oh, God. Catch them all. Catch them all. <laughs> we'll be back in a sec. I don't know what that even means. I don't either. <laughs> Make Carnaby Square in downtown Fairfield your fashion leader. We're the little boutique with the big inventory of beautiful, trendy outfits and clothing in a wide rate of your favorite name brands. And don't forget our large selection of jewelry and accessories. Carnaby Square is Southern Illinois' largest dealer of Brighton. At Carnaby Square, we take pride in our one-on-one knowledgeable customer service and look forward to helping you create your own special look. Plus, always free gift wrapping. Find endless gift ideas 24-7 at carnabysquare.com and on our Facebook page. Shop the fashion leader in downtown Fairfield, Carnaby Square. When it comes to your banking, you have as many options as colors in the crayon box. That's why you can bank your way to Topless State Bank. What works best for you may be different from what works best for your neighbor. To Topless State Bank is built to serve all your banking needs. Whether it's online banking, mobile check deposit, text banking, or just stopping in to see them at one of their three convenient locations. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender, it's to Topless State Bank. Banking made personal since 1913. Napa know-how. At Flora Auto Parts, you can count on the Napa know-how experts to have the solutions to keep you running on the road or in the field. More than just your car, your locally owned Napa store carries a large inventory of parts for farms, heavy trucks, and just about everything that moves. Experienced counter people understand your needs and are ready to help with the perfect part at a great value. That's Napa know-how at Flora Auto Parts. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to LeMond Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. LeMond's always inspects your battery, antifreeze wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. 
In 1916, Warren Miller chose auto owner's insurance. Later, his son made the same choice, as did his grandson. And today, his great-granddaughter did the same. As we reflect on where we've been, we're grateful to our independent agents and to those who have put their trust in us, and to the generations who will. Auto Owners Insurance. Harrison Insurance in Louisville is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. Does your home show signs of foundation problems? Call the experts at Woods Basement Systems. Our power brace system can fix the problem permanently and help protect the value of your home. Call Woods Basement Systems today. Woods, the all things basement experts. Mold, rank air, pests, all getting closer to inside your home. With a dirt crawl space, there's no telling what's below you. A sealed crawl space locks the nasty stuff out, plus can lower your utility bills. Woods, the all things basement experts. And I know it's hey, wait, 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 wait. hold on, time out, time out, stop talking. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, now start talking again. <laughs> Welcome back, Big Talk, the first thing you hear on Wabash Cash TV. That's the thing. It's uh, once you stop Jason from talking, you uh, uh, it's, he's difficult to get get back going, right? Oh, I'm not too hard to get going. <laughs> it's hard for me. To, you got it backwards. It's hard for me to stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pull that hat back just a little bit so people can see your oh, eyes. Sorry. There you go. I'm there sorry. You go. Yeah, but that's fine. Well, you see, that's the thing. Are you a shady dealer if you have the hat over your eyes? Absolutely not. The hat is repping the 618 when I'm up there. There you go. He's, go he's, mules. He's got the mules hat. I'm okay. in wolves territory, though. I you shouldn't are in be wolves saying that. Wildcats territory and uh, Effingham Flaming Hearts. They're really good, too. I'm in, a, I'm in, the, I'm in uh, the wrong neck of the well, woods. That's all right. Nobody, <laughs> nobody will probably mug you when you're with me okay uh, yeah, that's true <laughs> uh, okay so we were talking about some of the uh some of the people that are going to be up there at this show mm-hmm. how far in advance you say it's sold out now yeah can, you, can, I, so, if, can i walk up and get in yes jay still just a regular but not yeah, a vip you you still can get general admission i think it's 20 dollars at the door 25 don't quote me on it but somewhere in that vicinity and yeah it's going to be insane is what i'm hearing there's going to be major crowds and you know, you, at this time, be safe about it. I'd, I'd say wear a mask. There's no mask mandate, but I'm kind of nervous about that. Yeah, because well, they're expecting record crowds. Well, and you've got you've uh, been vaccinated. Yes, but, I mean, yes, of course. You have, uh, but there might uh, folks folks occasionally have prior conditions. And yeah. gonna, just wanted to put that out yeah, there for your folks. You uh, and it's in actually in Rosemont, not Chicago. I'm right, surprised. it's I right figured, by the airport. It's at the uh, Rosemont. I figured uh, it'd be at McCormick Place. No, it's always been at the Rosemont. And, really? uh, yeah, it's a big venue. I mean, it's, I would say, whew, I don't even know how many dealers and tables, but it's all of them around the globe. Okay, if I'm going to walk up to you, you at this table. Mm-hmm. You've got at booth three three seven six. You can find me booth three seven six. Yes, and sir. It's a ten by ten, and I say, uh, Mister Edgington, uh, uh, what is the coolest? Piece that you have do you have you're not doing you're not doing memorabilia right? i don't do it takes any too much room room and yeah this you got certifications and stuff and hauling all that around these are much easier is probably it, it's terrible easier to do well that. everybody that is in this hobby probably knows about operation bullpen in the 90s when they busted no the ring of, that oh is. one guy signed like a bazillion mickey mantle autographs oh. and had it perfected wow so it's a sad thing but it's out there if you want to know about that you know you can look it up at operation bullpen just my big thing is to make sure you you know what you're getting and you feel comfortable with the dealer you're dealing with because there's all sorts of people yeah. out there so all it, right, i'm know. walking up to your table i say uh come on Boy, I tell you what, uh, I have uh, I, I've, I've been with all these other tables, Mr. Edgington, and they all have uh, seen some pretty cool stuff. What would you show me if you had something really cool? Well, Mr. Dickey, I'd like to say you've been around around the show, but you've seen a lot of Mike Trouts, but have you seen that one? I would say no, sir, I have not seen this one. Let's uh, talk about this. I would say you might be correct, but there might be a few. Maybe there's a handful in that room. This what week. is what is so special about this one? Other than I see that it is a graded out at a ten. Yes. Gem mint. This is a Mike Trout rookie card. Yes. 
What makes it so special? It's now see where it says cognac. Pretty holograms. Yeah, so now see how it's pretty shiny in the cognac mm. diamond anniversary. Cognac card? diamond anniversary. So that is one of his most rare parallel rookie cards. I'm not sure what that mm -hmm. even means. Okay, parallel so you have card. is what you call a base rookie, which is in the packs. Yeah. Which these are in the packs too, but they come at a his regular rookie comes at an easy rate, like one a box, two a box I back see. then. Those were very short printed. Now, now when you grade it and it grades perfect, there's only 94 of those that exist in that condition. Oh, really? This is why the grading and the registry and having that barcode on there, this all comes into play of value yeah. and rarity. So, and making sure you know what you're getting. It's, yeah. it's the real deal. So, yes, Mr. Dickey, I have been offered a piece of property for that card. Wait a minute. <clears throat> a piece of... Oh. I didn't mean to. I just broke the card. Sorry, ladies. Hey, Bruce. So, uh, what do you value this little operation you got going here? Oh, oh no. Uh, well, I, I, I value my house and what this car. <coughs> so, so some, someone has offered you real estate. Yes, sir. For this car, and I turned it down. Really? In Virginia Beach. In Virginia Beach, you've been offered real estate yeah, for that car. Yeah. yeah, yeah, do turn that a little bit. Uh, so, I didn't feel like I wanted to be a landlord. It was a fair offer, great offer. And in the long haul, that would have been great investment. But I wasn't ready to move it. Yeah. and Still not? I'm still like, you know, those kind of things are rare. And you, it, it's a labor of love, man. These, some of this is close to the old ticker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you don't want to just give it away. Close to the wallet too. Actually. Very close to your wallet. <laughs> uh, let me look at this one. That's not the one I wanted to see. Where's oh, the, the uh, Charizard. I want to. I want to see this one. Uh, Tell me about this one. I am so glad. Is that when I sent it to you when I bought it? I pulled that off the website. Okay, so I bought. Uh, I, uh, historically, Ozzy Smith rookies are very miscut the way they're on the sheet. Right. I wish I'd ha it's out in the truck, but I have a PSA 9 in that, which, you know, as a kid growing up St. Louis Cardinals fan back in my era, yeah. that's the guy. Oh, yeah. And, and what made that card even more special was the centering. Like, it was so tough to find a nice one in good condition. That one's in the, the – it looks quite centered. Um, it is And very. the corners, I don't think that's a 10. I'm guessing that would probably be an 8 or something like that. Now, is that my picture? That's your picture. That is a PSA 9 right now. PSA 9. Yep. Now, that was right before I sent it in. I'm impressed you got that off the... Well done. <laughs> but that is a very talked about card when I set up these shows because you don't see those. The Rarity is king in this world. Like... You can. It's kind of like you do the dance and find out how you value it and I value it, and we go from there. Yeah. Maybe I trade you this for a sack of potatoes, Bruce. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you already dropped it, so. <laughs> I've already ruined the value of no it. No wonder they put them in protectors. <laughs> Thank heavens it was in <laughs> now, a protector. Now, Bruce, before we go, we're running out of time. Yeah. So... You, you know, I don't in, come empty-handed. In particular, you're wanting to show me? Oh, here we go. Now, this thing might be the second valuable card I've ever had, and I'm going to give to you. You are not. To put some swag around this room. <laughs> now, you got the jersey, but do you have the autographed tops card? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he knows my favorite player. Yes, I, I might, Bruce. I've known you all my life. It's a little bit I might know. He knows my favorite player. I, I, I must tell you, it's, it's, if it's not the most valuable card in your collection, it's probably the most valuable to me. I might have fibbed. It's not the second most valuable, but I figured it'd be close to your heart. Oh, my heavens. And that's what it's all about, Bruce, finding something you love. Oh, that is, oh, I'm tearing up. I'm, I'm so thrilled. <laughs> Well, I do, with ladies and gentlemen. I do have a Joaquin Andahar jersey. Uh, I, he was uh, one tough Dominican. I uh, yeah, he's my favorite uh, favorite Cardinal uh, growing up. Let's That's put it right. That way. I've heard favorite many Cardinal stories, folks. Up. So I kind of I had the inside scoop on uh, how. Oh to, my heck! I'm just trying to bribe him to get back on one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you very, You're very much. Welcome. I, 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 and best of luck to you up there in uh, well, I appreciate up there in the trip. That. That, that's that's going to be a lot of fun.
fun. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you're lo if you're looking for more on him, go on Instagram. Go to pond underscore creek underscore collectibles. Thank send, you so much. Send a message anytime. I'll be happy to help. Have a great day. Be folks. well. We'll see you all soon.